Hi, Yarnabees. Hi, Yarnabees. <laughs> How are you today? So today we have a little thing surprise. We're yes. going to do, we've already announced this. So this is the long awaited yep. um, honeycomb challenge. Yeah. So we were at the craft fair, the four day craft fair. Some of you watched our five hour long video <laughs> <laughs> it was about long. Uh, the craft fair. Um, and we were telling you about the honey guy. So we were in a room with about six other crafters and one of the guys um, uh, was selling jars of honey. So I guess he's award winning. He lives uh, just outside of Lake Cowichan in a small little community called Masachi Lake. Um, all of these communities are like within five miles of each other. And this is the honeycomb. So he had a very, very elaborate display it was a table with charts of honey and his <laughs> award-winning ribbon. And that was it. So you would think like, you know, people like Sandy that spend hours on their fancy display and whatever. And here's some idiot with just a bunch <laughs> of jars of honey in there. But boy, was he a salesman. This guy was so full of crap. When people would come in and he'd be like, hey. And he would say, honey's by the lake. And <laughs> guys were looking for the girls. But it was like, no, he had like jars of honey. And, they, and people, and they would say, this is my, and so this is my favorite. This is Masachi Lake Honey. And uh, this is the honey from Honeymoon Bay. It's on display and uh, in Cowichan Lake, make no mistake. And he had all these crazy sayings. And uh, next thing you know, we're learning more about honey than we ever thought we'd ever know. Yep. Um, he was explaining how they milk the bees and, <laughs> and then they do, all, again. they do all the little <laughs> things to get the honey and, and how even though his hives are literally within not even 10 miles away from each other, that the conditions were all unique and different so that there was actual tangible differences in the kinds of honey. But the, one of the things he had was these, um, these containers of honeycomb. And um, they were everything from, you know, three, four dollars and up. And he was oh, telling everybody that um, you've got to try the honey in the honeycomb it's like ambrosia from the gods and it's the greatest thing you'll ever eat and you'll grow six inches in a month and <laughs> and you'll lose a hundred pounds and okay. like you name it this guy had, had claims for how awesome this is yeah. so this is kind of how it comes in one of these containers so the outer shell is kind of a hard wax and then well, you've got the honeycomb. it is an actual honeycomb that the bees were making so you can kind of see maybe um, the little, the, oops, <laughs> the little, the little holes that the, the bees pack the honey in and you see the honey is dripping all out here. So you're supposed to actually just grab a piece and chew on it. And, and apparently you could even eat like the wax and everything oh. if you want. That's so I said to the guy, I says, it's wax. Like you he actually said, you can this? spit it out or you can swallow it and nothing bad will happen. And we'll find <laughs> that out, I guess, when we go to the bathroom tomorrow. Um, Cause this is feeling kind of coarse. I'm a little bit concerned, <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> so oh. we told him that we would try this and we would, um, oh, God, it and is. we would, uh, put this on the video. So here we go. Oh, this so we've is both like got a chunk. Minute. Like, look at this, you guys. It's like it's just oozing with honey. Oops. And I don't know which of the three varieties of honey this is, but. Oh. And then Sandy made a mistake. She actually put this in the fridge and you're not supposed to refrigerate oh, no. this. But the one little known fact that I actually did know before we met the honey man is honey is the only type of food in the world that never spoils. So you could literally have this thing out forever and ever and it never go gets fermented. It never goes rotten. <laughs> He's like, oh it it never honey. goes He's bad. So anyway, so here oh, we go. Ready? Man. No, you gotta get a great I big chunk. Hurry up, I'm losing it. Okay, ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh God, this is awful. Go. <laughs> it's actually pretty good. It's really sweet. I was concerned that my teeth would stick to it and my teeth were gonna fall out on <laughs> on camera you'd all get you'd all see what i really look like but it's um uh, say something 
It's obviously really sweet like honey. So well, it is honey. Because it is honey. But but the comb actually doesn't really taste like much of anything. That's the honeycomb. But it does crumble really easily, okay. and I could see how you could easily swallow this. Okay. Which I just did. <laughs> okay, the thing is, I'm like, almost like gum. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, it is wax, right? Ah, that is really sweet. Well, I don't know how this would be any different or any better than just taking a spoon and dipping it into one of his jars of honey and just having like a spoonful of honey. Isn't that a song? Just a spoonful of sugar. Oh. Right? <laughs> Sing it with me. No. Just a spoonful <laughs> of sugar helps the medicine go down. Oh, God. <laughs> the medicine go down. Okay. Oh, the medicine go de down. Demonetizing. <laughs> In the most delightful way. <laughs> okay. The thing I noticed. Copyright. Mary Poppins. <laughs> The, the thing I noticed... It is right totally sticking to my teeth and... Oh, my God. Yeah. <clears throat> the thing I noticed right off the bat... It's only my teeth. <laughs> is you can't talk now because your teeth are welded together. It is the bottom part of the honeycomb, not that top lo layer, but the bottom part with all the... God, you're eating more? The they act. It actually disintegrated in my mouth. Mm -hmm. right what was left this was the top layer but the inside all the honeycomb pieces disintegrated which i didn't expect but it it's really sweet i'm not a honey person i don't i don't eat honey and I like honey, but usually I do the peanut butter and honey. Yeah, but I mean, even with thing. that, like if I do, if I do that, I have like just a drop of honey. Or honey on toast is good. Uh, I, I'm I'm not a really sweet, sweet person. I'm it's salt true. and savory. It's true. She's not a really sweet. Really? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so, <clears throat> so that really surprised me was how it just kind of collapsed. Yeah, I was waiting for it to be all chewy, and it kind of goes, yeah. Mm, and, 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 yeah. Yeah. And That's then, true. We do have a wet cloth here to <laughs> try to wipe our hands, my gigantic. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, it was kind of weird. It just kind of all collapsed and disintegrated, except for that top layer. And that's what was left, which is weird. I, I was expecting to have like a whole mouthful of wax. Well, it is... Totally sticking to, but to my teeth. But it's the top. Teeth. It's not. It's the top part. Probably taking my denture out and having to uh, sandblast this, this stuff off this of what, here. You is that? That's not what you ate, is it? Some of what? Some of it. Why'd you put it back in here? No, 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 no. Uh, no, I didn't do that. Oh, <laughs> I was like, what? But anyways, yeah, it was. That was a bit of a surprise. I honestly, I, I can't say i hated that no it wasn't bad but it's not like if i saw another display i'd have to rush right over and buy another fresh honeycomb yeah it's not the kind of thing that i would eat i guess on a regular basis but it was interesting to see it kind of in its natural state yeah. that that um i'm not exactly sure how they get the honey from the comb like like how they are able to get the honey out w without getting all the wax in with the honey when they I make would, honey. I would imagine that it's just, they e probably either melt it and then have the wax on the top yeah, and then I'm just peel that off. I'm sure there's a process, or, right? Or just let it drip off. Like, I don't know. But it's, um, but yeah, I mean, if you can see. Oh. Well. <laughs> Obviously, the hardest the hardest part of the whole money the whole honey <laughs> the whole honey making process oh. is is oh. when they they milk the bees for the honey right <laughs> and <laughs> it's very important that you make sure it's a female bee because the male bees get really pissed off when you try to milk them. Oh my god! Yeah, I don't know if you can see. The... You can always tell the male bees by their stinger. Uh. <laughs> 
<laughs> really? Oh my god. Anyway, um, but yeah, you can totally see the the comb honeycomb part. That just all just completely collapsed. And it disintegrated. I was I was stunned. I was really expecting really grossness. No, it it, it really tastes grossness. it tastes really good, but yeah, I'm not liking that. The waxy bits that are now stuck to <laughs> my denture, which I'll be taking out after the video and trying to clean now. But um, but yeah, if you ever want to give it a try, if you it's ever see different. a display it's not, it's not of terrible. natural honey, yeah, um, you know, because this guy also was selling. Um, he didn't really have any, but a lot of beekeepers will also sell um, bee pollen. Mm -hmm. uh, the honey, the beeswax, of course, is yeah. is a big thing for making candles and everything. Yeah. So I was, I, I was really, I did not, that was not terrible. I, I can't say I really, really enjoyed it because I don't like honey. Like I'm not a big it fan It wasn't as bad as some of that stuff that we uh -oh. tried from the snack box and oh, yeah. some of the other weird stuff. But uh, yeah, that was actually, that anyway. was not bad. So I guess yeah. um, to sign off, I'm going to quote our famous, uh, oh. our famous Dr. Bonnie. Oh, and she know. always says, because we're talking about honeys and bees, so for all of you out there, be kind, be <laughs> calm, be safe. <laughs> okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. <laughs>